I would like to introduce Dr. Thorsten Kiefer, who works in Paris at the Global Hub, and he'll tell us more about the international perspective. The floor is yours. Thank you, Kerstin. My name is Thorsten Kiefer. I come from Future Earth. But when I introduce myself in English, then people smile at me. I'm Thorsten Kiefer coming from Future Earth, which means people smile at me because they think I've come back from the future. And some people have sometimes ask me how it is to live in the future world. Yeah, I can't give a conclusive answer, I'm afraid. But what I can tell you is that it's in our hand to shape the future Earth, the world for our children and grandchildren. And this is also the motivation of future Earth. Well, to deal with this process of transformation on global sustainability and to support it, everybody does it with his or her means and funds, where science and innovation and research is channeled and pooled together. So this kind of transformation towards sustainability, that's the Earth as we know it in an ideal case from bird's eye view, taken from the International Space Station, that's how the Earth was perceived as a wonderful planet. The finding or the recognition that this transformation towards sustainability must be promoted is spread everywhere. That's why we are here at the climate conference in order to discuss how the Climate Paris goals can be achieved. And that is why we do have the sustainability goals of 17 SDGs altogether, which Florian has introduced already. The sustainability aims, they, have, they radiate into the world. Perhaps they are a bit over ambitious, but they radiate into uh, other areas. So s towns and cities uh, take note of them, let's orient themselves towards its industry and the private sector and research as well. We at Future Earth have also geared our priorities along these lines and subjects. So here you can see that the climate subject is uh, tackled as the challenge of decarbonization and concerning towns and cities, it's also very important and very high on the agenda. Why? Because towns and cities are very important factors if we want to achieve anything at all in terms of sustainability. That's the Earth as uh, that is more realistic today. Not this untouched planet, but this is the, the uh, picture taken at night. These pictures are all the light areas, are urban centers, conurbations. This is the Earth we are dealing with, in which we must uh, transform more towards global sustainability. Why are cities so important? We have got seven and a half billion people living on this Earth, and half of them lives in towns and cities. The Lord Mayor has mentioned the figures already, so we have a very urban planet which will be even more urban in the future. By 2050, two and a half billion people will be added to the urban population in the world. So, and hence, the respective infrastructure must be created. Another interesting figure is 90% of this increase is concentrated on Asia and Africa. So there are hot spots on this earth in terms of urban development. We have to look towards Asia and Africa. This also means in the course of the coming 30 years, more cities are uh, to be built and more surface has to be used than ever before. This is another type of visualization of the same kind of um, fact, which means that 60% of the surface which will be built on by 2030 will be located in cities. So 40% has already been, or does exist already as uh, urban surfaces or areas, and 60% is different type of used differently, but need, this now needs to be uh, built upon. It's a chance, but also a challenge. So where cities already exist, they must be changed and transformed into urban centers in accordance with the SDGs. And of course, this must be done in a sustainable way. But where city areas are built from scratch, then here we have to do it quite correctly right from the outset. 
planning and implementation in accordance with our no best possible knowledge of sustainability. So we have to do it in the right way. Once things have been built, they are there. But the measures we introduce today will have a long-term implication. There's a clear message by the climate conference, so that is we today. We have to plan and design the cities correctly in order to be able to achieve the sustainability goals. So in which way are we moving? particularly in the field of science, a major event to which I would like to invite you in Edmonton, in Canada, in the IPCC conference, will take place in Edmonton, in Canada, next March, where a lot of renowned organizations dealing with this subject will deal with it, and particularly the IPCC itself, the World Climate Council, two years ago decided that they want to have a special report on climate and cities. And at the same time, they found out there is not enough knowledge available to compile a meaningful report. And that is why they decided that in the next IPCC cycle, such a special report is to be published. So they are really looking far ahead and recognizing the importance of this subject. And this conference is to be the starting phase to set off the whole development so the community comes together to compile the respective publications so that in six or seven years' time there are enough findings, enough knowledge in order to publish and com compile a comprehensive special report. So we are witnessing the teething stage of a dynamic development where the sustainability of cities are at the center. Thank you.